Many debtors don't fully understand the role the trustee plays in a bankruptcy. When a debtor files a consumer bankruptcy, a trustee is assigned by the court to administer the case and represent the unsecured creditors. The trustee is the lawyer in many cases that is appointed to, among other things, represent your creditors. The trustee is charged with the duty to conduct a 341 hearing to determine if there are any assets that may be administered for the benefit of your creditors. That means the trustee may take your assets, houses, cars, money, etc., and disperse it to your creditors. Among other things, a trustee may file a motion to dismiss the debtor's case, revoke a discharge that has already been granted, or file a motion to turn over assets. In a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, among the trustee's duties is to represent the unsecured creditors to ensure they receive as much of your money as legally possible. The Bankruptcy Code requires that the debtor attend a 341 hearing and answer the trustee's questions about their assets. The Code also requires the debtor truthfully and accurately disclose all assets and liabilities in both the schedules and at the 341 hearing. If the debtor does not cooperate with the trustee's request for information and documents, the trustee may have the bankruptcy dismissed. The trustee has an obligation to use any and all information he may receive from the debtor to the benefit of the creditors. Imagine that you were charged with a crime and hired a criminal defense attorney. You would not speak to the prosecutor and police without your lawyer present. The same is true with the bankruptcy trustee that is assigned to represent your creditors. While you have a duty to cooperate with the trustee, you also have the right to counsel. Any communication you have with the trustee should go through your lawyer. Generally speaking, once you have truthfully disclosed all of your assets in your schedules and truthfully answered all questions at your 341 hearing, you should not contact the trustee's office in writing or by phone other than through your lawyer. It is true that you have an ongoing duty to disclose changes to your financial situation to the trustee, but this should always be done through your lawyer. If you contact the trustee's office and give them information that benefits your creditors, they are required to act on that information for the benefit of your creditors.